And we're back to the Catwoman. Hopefully we could finish her up in this video. Had a bit of delay trying to get the next part. And um, needed this to finish the cat suit. And what we're gonna be using is glitter. Yes, it took me two weeks to get freaking glitter off of eBay. Um, post office lost package and the seller was being a dick and I had to find a different supplier and then I had to find someone else and blah 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 blah. Anyway, so the point is the Catwoman suit, it's it's not sequin but it does have a slight sort of uh, reflective quality to it and I hummed and hawed about different ways to possibly do this and I decided to try after doing some research try glitter and this isn't ordinary glitter that just go to craft store and get this is special extra fine glitter um, the reason why the extra fine is because we're going to put it through an airbrush so this is ultra fine 0.004 size glitter it's not you can see it's very tiny you know it's even smaller than it's like flock and of course this is black now um, this is actually my second go at trying this uh, the first time it didn't go too well uh, I tried with the black and the black just simply didn't have enough reflective quality to it. See, it's not that, you know, shiny. You don't see little sparkles in there. And I kept putting more and more on and it didn't work out. It was just, uh, didn't happen. So I had to strip it off, redo it. And well, I'll show you, I ordered some silver that turned out not to be silver. You can see this is white and more prismatic. Definitely has a lot more reflective quality to it though, so that didn't work. And then I had to order real silver. And what we're gonna be doing is mixing these two together because this is obviously way too bright and shiny. This is silver, of course, and we're gonna sort of just highlight the black by mixing this together. Now, this is the same way apparently they do like metal flake on cars or some effect on real life-size cars. And they do put it through an airbrush, so it does work. Again, I've already tried it, so I know it works. And this is only one way of doing this. The kit has a stupid recommendation that you say just to splatter silver paint through your airbrush onto it, which is very haphazard. Uh, also thought about doing, uh, we can get the actual proper automotive flake, but I think it's the same stuff, but you know, 10 times as more. This costs like two bucks on eBay, a bag. Um, I even thought about the uh, that glitter makeup that women wear that goes everywhere. Uh, thought about rubbing that on, but I went with this method. So you got other things you can try. You can try flaking silver paint on with like using a toothbrush. Like, I'll do a little example here for you. Do it like this, put some paint on it and you flake it off. It makes a huge mess. But you can try that if you don't have an airbrush. So what we're gonna be using is mixing these two together in order to get the proper uh, glitter effect and going to be mixing it together with some Tamiya Clear so we can put it through the airbrush. The reason why I'm going with Tamiya Clear is because this is somewhat viscous and I want the glitter to be suspended. If I use something very thin, Windex or something like that, it's all going to sink to the bottom of the air pot and probably clog it up. And I already actually mixed together what we are going to be using. And I'm not going to be putting this through my regular Iwata airbrush. I have a Badger that has a larger needle, has a 0 0.5, not point, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, or 0.5, no 0.5, that's right. And so we're going to go over to the other desk now and do this up. Key again is to keep this stirred up quite a bit and uh, hopefully it'll go through. I think I need to thin this out a little bit more actually, but uh, I'll meet you over there in a minute. So I need to do this quickly. Got our Badger set up. This is the Badger 105 uh, Patriot, I think it is. Trying to keep everything nice and mixed in there. And quick little burst. Again, I don't want to do too much because it just got all rough. Hang on. Yeah, I'll turn the fan on. Too much stuff around here. There we go, there's our sparkle coming out. Try to get this even, I'm not used to this big needle tip. So 
So that's about it. We're gonna do this carefully. Again, not too much. I don't wanna get a rough surface like before. I'm gonna mix my cup up again. All right, so we're gonna do this a little bit more and then I'll meet you back at the desk. Other than the cat suit, there's not much left to do on this kit. The gloves and the boots I repainted with black um, because they're not the same material as the rest of the body suit. And also I went back and forth using different varnishes on it. I tried gloss, semi-gloss, and flat, and I ended up going with gloss just because it looked the best. And so I painted that and glossed everything. And last thing we have to do is all the gold. And for that, we're using this stuff. This is AK Interactive True Metal. This is a buffing metallic. It's a wax base similar to the ones you can get in, that have been available for decades, I think, in craft stores. I'm not sure if this is any different because I haven't used those other ones, but we're gonna give it a shot. Always willing to try new things. You could thin it with um, turpentine, apparently. But it actually comes out pretty uh, liquidy. It comes out as a paste, but it goes on very smooth. And I undercoated with silver in case when we get to the next stage, some of it comes off because we're going to buff this next. So now I let the gold dry overnight. Now we're just going to polish it up a little bit. We're not going to get a huge dramatic change here. It just gives it a little bit of sheen here and there. And because I put the silver underneath, if I rub too hard, this stuff will come off, as you can see. If I rub too hard, uh, some of that steel or silver I used underneath will show through, so that'll give it actually a little bit of highlight. I think this is best applied over larger surface areas, not delicate areas such as these. Also, I didn't do a good job of applying it. I gotta go back and fix a few spots. I think it's still going to need a wash. You can put an acrylic wash over it, but not anything um, enamel based. So that's just going to wipe it right off. This is very delicate. This definitely don't want to handle this because it'll just come right off like that. Probably using regular gold paint would have been just fine, but I want to experiment and try this stuff out. Well, that's about it. A little uh, touch up here and there, fix my boo-boos, and I think we're done. Oh, the whip, by the way, in the show, um, the only episode I found where she has the whip, it's actually tan, and also it doesn't look at all like this. It was like a cat of nine tails. Um, but I didn't want to do it tan, because that just looked weird. Gold seems, or excuse me, uh, black seems way more appropriate, so I just went with the black whip. And then I semi-glossed this, so it was slightly different from uh, the rest of the sheen on the model and then we got the head is ready to go i did redo the lips made them a little bit lighter i decided uh they were too dark and also i did go with the mask even though i really didn't want to use it yeah those eyebrows are just odd they still stick out on top but actually they do on the show too so that's accurate so put all this together and uh we're gonna be done all right here we are we're done with the Catwoman. Do, 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 do. Spinny, spinny, spinny. There we go. So, do the rundown here. This was actually a fairly simple project. It took way too long, um, mainly because of the issue trying to suss out the, the bodysuit, the glitter thing, which kind of uh, dampened my enthusiasm for this project. But uh, let's go over. Start at the bottom, check out the GAMs. The base is the same base I did with the Batman. Again, it's not that great, but I'm going to redo them all once all the kits are done. The glitter on the bodysuit worked out pretty well. It does give a little fuzzy look. As I mentioned before, there's different ways you can do this. Um, you can just try sprinkling glitter on, splatter paint, um, that uh, glitter makeup that women wear. Um, you could try that perhaps. So there's different options. What I did worked out decently. I mean, it created a good effect, I think. Um, it's not too 
uh, reflective because on the show it's just, like, just got a subtle hint. It's definitely not like a super sequin uh, look to it. The gold, the AK Interactive True Metal Gold, not liking it too much. Um, I first did it under over some Vallejo Flat Earth, some brown tone like I would normally use for gold. And then I read you're supposed to do it over a... Um, I glossed that because I glossed the whole kit, and then I read you're supposed to do it over a, uh, a flat surface, and I went back and I did it with the silver, and actually it seemed to come off more off of the silver than it did after off of the glossed flat earth. Oof. But uh, it did, a lot of it came off, um, you know, despite just me doing a slight rubbing on it. So, yeah, I probably should have just done regular gold paint, but I wanted to try something new. And then the only other thing here is the head. Head's about the happiest part, you know, part that I'm happiest with. At least the face, I think, came out pretty well. I really wish I didn't have to add the mask. But the eyebrows, um, couldn't figure out a way to make them look decent. Uh, the hair, I could have gone a little bit lighter for after watching a couple more episodes. She's definitely a bit more into the uh, a lighter, is it auburn? Is that the proper term? I'm not sure, but definitely a lighter brown. So I went a wee bit dark on that. But uh, other than that, again, there's not much to this kit. You just, it's the face and black bodysuit and a little bit of gold. So this should actually only take you a couple days. Um, again, I just had issues getting the glitter done. But uh, two out of eight of these kits done, seven. I forget how many there are now. But uh, I think there's gonna be a bit of delay. I heard Robin was supposed to be next, but that's been delayed due to casting issues. So. Uh, when this one came out right after the Batman, I thought, you know, they really pumped these out one every three months or so, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening since I think this one came out, I want to say January, or was it December? I could be wrong about that, but it came out really quick after the Batman, but we haven't seen anything or heard of anything since then. But uh, there we go. So I got two done and uh, more to come. Well, I can't say soon. It's not going to be soon. It's going to be a while. But uh, we'll work on something else. Give the oils a rest for a while, I think. There you go. Catwoman. Thanks for watching.